Now, let me ask you a question. Okay. As a scientist, do yeah. you believe in God? So, in the West, there's <laughs> two thirds of scientists pray to a personal God on the expectation it will intervene in their day's affairs. But I can tell you this, productive scientists do not bring their, their Bible, their scripture, their holy books into the lab because they do not mix there. So they draw a line in the sand mm -hmm. and they do one in one place, then they worship on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, whatever is your, your religious tradition, there. So to ask whether they can coexist, the answer is, yeah, is empirically yes. I didn't ask that, I asked do you, people, do me, you believe in God? Every description of God that I've heard holds God to be uh, all powerful, very typical, and all good. And then I look around and I see a tsunami that killed a quarter million people in Indonesia, an earthquake that killed a quarter million people in Haiti. And I see earthquakes and tornadoes and disease, childhood leukemia. And I see all of this and I say, I do not see evidence of both of those being true simultaneously. If there is a God, the God is either not all powerful or not all good. Mm, Can't be both. Good answer. It's my question of the year. So, so I'm, so I'm, so I'm, if you have good evidence, I'm good for it, but I'm, I'm evidence-driven. You need evidence. More than I'm yeah. faith-driven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good to know. And by I the mean... way, to be faith-driven is one thing, but to be faith-driven and try to create legislation on that that affects other people who don't share your faith, right. that's the beginnings of a theocracy. And we have evidence of what that is in the past, and our founding fathers specifically founded this country to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm.